One of the coldest mornings of the year so far didn't stop U of M researchers from doing a very involved deer study. They met up at Elm Creek Park Reserve in Maple Grove in order to capture and study deer using a helicopter. That's where we find our John Lauritsen, who has been there much of the morning. John, this is quite a study to see out there. It really is, Sheila, and then began at 8 o'clock this morning. And like you said, the process involves firing nets at deer from a helicopter, capturing those deer, and then bringing them back to researchers for a variety of tests. A very involved process. Once the deer are blindfolded and restrained, they're taken back to research headquarters at Elm Creek Park Reserve where nasal swabs and blood tests are taken for various diseases. Part of this U of M study is to find out where deer go, their movements, and how they interact with each other. A collar is then put on the captured deer before they are released back into the park. Researchers hope to recapture them in about two years to follow up on their health and to see whether or not they are carriers for certain illnesses like Lyme disease and even COVID. The deer are getting are likely getting um, SARS-CoV-2 from humans. They carry the same strains that humans do, and um, you know we might be worried about recombination in the deer that then might spill back into humans because the deer seem to pass the SARS-CoV-2 uh, well amongst themselves. Yeah, what they were hoping to do this morning here at Elm Creek Park Reserve was deploy about seven female collars and seven male collars, but they actually cut short uh, this study for today. Anyway, about an hour and a half ago, they stopped, Sheila, due to the weather to some degree, but also due to thin ice in various parts of the park. They had a deer kind of go through the ice as well mm -hmm. as a researcher. So they're hoping to pick this back up tomorrow morning as well and ultimately hoping to learn a lot between uh, deer and what happens out in urban and suburban areas. Safety first, but certainly a fascinating study indeed. Our John Lortz in reporting. It really thanks. is. Yep. Yes. Thanks so much, John.